Hi, this is Mark Mato with National Real Estate Investors Network. I'm here with Derek Scruggs, and uh, you know, I, I rehabbed the one big apartment project one time. Well, for me, it was big, it was a 24 unit. And now if somebody says apartment building to me, I start to shake. So the great news is we've got somebody that's done this like 14, 15 times, really knowledgeable, has done some incredible projects. Uh, so what we're going to do is let him walk us through a building today and talk about it. This is one of the buildings that, that you guys are handling right yes. now. So I'm just going to shut up and turn it over to you. Thanks. How you doing? How you doing this morning? Um, and there's the end of the year and everybody's trying to sit down for goals. And I always tell people, if you're going to be in the real estate business, one of your goals should be you should want to transfer from single family to multifamily. And what happens with multifamilies is the cost of entry is a lot easier, but it's a lot more scalable. This building right here has 36 units, so it's ideal for somebody. Maybe not the first time you buy a building, maybe you want to start with eight to 20 units, but for that second to third time investor is looking to expand his business, this is the ideal building, it's 36 building. When we walk through, you see that the, 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 the care they took, the unit situation, hardwood floors, the nice decor is throughout the process. Remember, site and preparation is everything. So the way it looks is the way you, your tenants. So if your tenants don't think you care, then in fact, it affects your ability to collect. So we spend a lot of time, energy, and effort in trying to put that together. It's a life situation. So if you're looking to get into a property building in 2021, I believe if you are investing in the city of Detroit, I believe I'm a valuable asset for you to be able to call to get information. If you look at this, this building has beautiful hardwood floors. If you look at the decorative, uh, 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 recently, uh, uh, lights up top. Somebody, when they bought this building, spent a lot of time, and effort trying to make this the best building in the neighborhood. See, the fact is, when you have a good building, it makes it easier for you to rent. It makes it good for long-term tenants or whatever it is. Uh, what we do is we specialize in finding veterans, different types of veteran programs. So if you're looking to add a building that has sustainable income, because the only way you really get your ROI is consistent income. And with vets and older tenants, which we specialize in finding work with maybe 14 different agencies. The fact is, if you get consistent income, you don't have to chase the revenue down, you know, between the first and fifth of every month, the money's coming in. This is the ideal building, you know. They feel safe, they feel secure, whatever it is. So if you ask yourself, if you're looking for a building, what would you look for? And this is the type of building you want to start with. As I said, presentation is everything. So look at the ambiance when you come in. So let's just say, for example, you're a 60-year-old person that's looking to come in this program. Would you mind living here? You look at it, got, it got nice plants, got nice pictures on the wall, nice decoration throughout the process. So that's what you're looking for. The fact is, in this business, you have to look at sight is everything. So remember, that's the first thing they see, what does it look like on the outside? When they first walk in, what does it smell like? What does it look like? So whoever had this building before, they spent a lot of time and energy to be able to get it. So for you, if you're looking for a nice building to get into, or if you look for somebody, maybe a partnership, that might be the right situation to come in. So if you look at it, it's the same on each floor. This is the second floor. It's basically maintenance free. The unique part about this building is that fact that it's, it's all separate utilities, which is a unique situation where it affects your cash flow. Uh, this building right here, all of them have their own individual furnaces in it, which doesn't seem like a big situation, but 36 units at $150 a month every month. That's a, that affects your cash flow. So the fact that this is the ideal building for you to park, you know, significant cash in and have it for a long period of time. This is the other end of the building. This is the coming back up, up from the basement to the building from the first floor to the second floor. As you look right here, this is your access panel that goes to the roof or whatever it is. This building is actually in great shape. Uh, if you look at the doors, entry doors, all of them have been color coordinated for a unique situation. One of the biggest questions I always get is, hey, what should be the mix between one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom? Well, in my business, when I deal with veterans or elderly people, the fact is our ideal client and our ideal house is a single family, I mean, it's a one bedroom unit. In this particular building, it's 36 units all together. It's 29 one bedrooms and seven two bedrooms. Now, that doesn't seem like the best mix, but for us, it's the ideal situation because the fact that we're dealing with seniors and we're dealing with uh, veterans. In that situation, it's a single older man that's basically living by himself, so he only needs one bedroom. So these buildings, these units actually fly off the shelf. Uh, pretty much, we have a waiting list 
to move our vets in. We built a relationship with the 14, 15 different agencies that help us place tenants or whatever it is. And the fact is they looking for buildings like this because they're looking for something that's not too small because like with seniors, they're not looking for 150, 200 unit building, but a 30, 40, 50 units ideal for them because they want to get to know their neighbors. They're looking for long-term people. They want to build relationships and sometimes they want they may not have vehicle so they can partner up to get places or whatever it is. So in, these, in this particular situation, if you're looking for a building that's easily manageable, that has long-term tenants and great return on investment, this may be the ideal building. One thing that people fail to realize is people want to be led. And what I mean by that is your tenants, um, your, your people that's moving in or whatever it is. So what I try to do is this. I try to create the, the keys to success in taking over the building. So let's say, for example, January 1st, 2021, you take over this building. But the first thing you do is create an expectation. And what I mean by expectation is, okay, create what you expect from your tenants. And what I tell people is, you don't pay, you can't stay. Now, that seems kind of harsh, but the fact that that's expectation number one. You know, I know it seems kind of harsh, but you can't pay, you can't stay. But what happens is, if you create that from day one, what happens is they understand. Remember, grants due on the first, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth. So what you tell people is, hey, we're going to create a partnership. These are my rules of engagement. My rules of engagement is you can't pay, you can't stay. But your rules are the fact is if I call you within 24 to 48 hours, I need to fix things. I need to make sure everything is taken care of. I need to make sure I'm accessible. The fact is there is no excuses in that particular situation. So if you live in here, it's my job to create a safe, uh, habitable place for you to live in. So if I do part A, part, part A, your job is to do part B. Part B is you pay on time. And then what we try to do is we, we incentivize our tenants. So let's say, for example, you pay six months in time, we may give you a $100 gift card. If you pay another six months in time, we try to make it where the fact is they're connected together so the fact that it gives them reason to pay. So we give them a rent rewards program. So the fact is every six months you pay on time, you get a discount. Every another six months you pay on time, you get a six month. So let's say for Christmas, you would get a $150, $200 bonus. Now, that seems like you're losing money, but you're actually gaining. Because if you get the tenants to buy into the process of, we're a partnership, we're a team, and the fact is that I need you just as much as you need me. Because the fact is, if you can't pay, I can't fix the units up. So you pay, I can create a situation, I can put escrow money away for repair. Because it's a building, things are going to happen, no matter how good. I mean, the building looks great, but the fact is, behind these closed doors, the building built in 1930, 1940. Okay, we, we're talking about expectation. There's, expectations are key to every relationship you have. The fact is, it has to be a win-win. Everybody's W can be different. My W as an owner may be bigger than your W as a tenant. But the fact is, if I can give you what you're looking for for a longer period of time, the fact is, then it makes a win-win situation. The win for you is the fact that you have a safe, uh, efficient, uh, well-maintained uh, building. Me, I'm going to have a building where it's cash flowing pretty good for the fact is, hopefully, I can take that and leverage that to the next building. So the fact is, in this business, what you want to do is you want to plan, you want to do it, and review it. So what it is, every 30 days, you want to look at, okay, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? What I mean by that is who paid, who didn't pay? So every building is going to have slow pay. Why did they not pay? So these are questions you need to ask yourself on a regular basis. Is it because they can't afford it? Because if they can't afford it, then did you do a good job of maybe uh, tenant uh, evaluation before you move the tenant in? Second is, okay, if they can afford it, why didn't they pay? Well, it could be because of the fact that they have repairs or situations. It could be because of uh, uh, relationships, in, inner, inner relationships in the building or whatever. Because think about it, in a 36-unit building, guess what? You got 36 different personalities. You have to try to put those together. So that's why we try to have uh, like-kind individuals in here. So in fact, this building is all single, pretty much single individuals. Pretty much no kids, so you won't hear that whining and crying. That says bad situation. It's just the fact that the business I'm in is the fact I felt like it's going to be one, have less maintenance. Because if you have single men and older individuals, the fact is they're less likely to do a lot of damage. Then you don't have a lot of riffraff running through. So that's what the goal is. You want to basically create a business where the fact is it's maintenance free and the fact is it's not always requiring a lot, requiring a lot of your time. You put the tenant in. You make sure you pay, you put a maintenance team together, they call, they get that taken care of. So today we walk through, they might say I had a problem with heat. Well, I got a heating guy on the call, I call him, they get it taken care of. The fact is that speed of execution, 24 to 48 hours, is very important. But what that does is the fact is when I have my expectation to get my rent on the first of the month, guess what? I feel obligated to that. You should pay me.